Hi Summit Kids, Miss Heather here. Thanks for watching Kids Church at Home. Today, we're gonna to talk about emotions. Emotions are how we feel. We all have them. So let's do a little game. Show me on your face that you're happy. Give me a happy face. <laughs> Give me a sad face. Give me a mad face. <laughs> so wouldn't it be weird if you were walking around happy, but you looked sad? <laughs> that would be weird, right? So today we're gonna talk about how we should have our actions match our words. But before we do, let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for the kids watching. I ask that you would help them to have good actions and good words. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Jesus' disciple, John, wrote a letter to Christians. Little children, he wrote, because all Christians are children of God. I am writing to you so you will not sin. But if you do sin, Jesus speaks to the Father for us. Jesus died to take the punishment for our sins. John said that when we are a part of God's family and truly know God, we keep God's commands. Being a child of God is like living in light instead of in darkness. John wrote, If someone says he is in the light but hates his brother or sister, he is in the darkness. If someone loves his brother or sister, he is in the light. John also wrote, See how much the Father loves us. He calls us his own children. And that is what we are. We are children of God. John said that people who are God's children live differently than people who are not God's children. Believers do what is right, and they love one another. This was not a new message. Jesus told us to love one another too. John wrote that others will know we are Christians because we show love to one another. We know what love is because Jesus showed us. He laid down his life for us. Because of Jesus' power, we can and should love like that too. When we have something that our brother needs, we should give it to him. If someone has enough to help but turns away and does nothing, does that person really know God's love? John said that we must not just talk about loving others. We must love them by our actions and by telling them the truth. Little children, he said. Let us not just say that we love others. Let's show our love by what we do. John wrote a letter to teach believers in the church, the children of God, about the importance of showing love. Love is more than feelings or words. It is an action. Jesus showed God's love for us when he died on the cross to rescue people from sin. Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for questions from kids. Caroline from Prattville, Alabama asks, What does it mean that God is our Father? Caroline, as we know, God is really hard for us to understand at times because He's not human like we are, of course. He's infinite. Um, you know, you read about Him in the Scripture, and He's just really hard to understand at times. And so what God has done is he's given us different ways to understand him throughout scripture. And the best way to understand him is by looking at all these things together. So for example, we know in scripture it says that God is king. Well, from that we know that he leads us. He's a ruler, he has authority. But that's not the only way he's described. He's also described as you've asked as a father. So what do we think about when we think about God as the Father? I think it's really helpful for us to remember that that really means that He has a loving relationship with us as His children. When we think about God the Father, we should immediately think of God loving us, caring for us, providing for us. 
What's interesting is this was the term that Jesus used of God most often in the Gospels. If you read through the Gospels, you really don't see Jesus calling God King. You see him calling God Father. Why? Because that loving relationship was so important. It's so central to who God is. So God as Father really helps us remember this central, really important attribute of God of love. Isn't that a good thing? It's an encouraging thing that God wants to know us. He wants us to love him as he loves us. Does he want us to obey him? Sure, but it's not obedience that has nothing to do with love. It's obedience because of love. So here's a question back for you. What would be different if God were just a king over us and not our heavenly father? For our missions moment today, we're going to learn about an organization called Send Relief. Send Relief is a disaster relief ministry that serves people all over the world when disasters hit. They help people when their physical needs like food, medical care, and with their spiritual needs also. Ten days after Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico, Send Relief sent volunteers to the island to help. Many churches gave offerings to help also. Many Christians gave offerings to help people who lost everything when Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico. Volunteers went to Puerto Rico to share the love of Jesus on the island. It was sad that Hurricane Maria came, but it was good that gave people an opportunity to show the love of Jesus. It's announcement time, and guess what? This Friday, July 30th, we're gonna go bowling together at Strikes from six to eight. I sure hope you can come because bowling is such a fun time for me. I want you to be there. So friends, our time together is over. I hope you've enjoyed watching Kids Church. Have an awesome week. Bye.